in deciding on my hammer bore, and just for my information, <clears throat> I employ a large protractor uh, to find out where the strings are in their flare angles. Uh, in the base section, it is uh, 15 degrees. Let's go along the front of the stretcher. In the tenor, in the other direction, of course, 17 degrees. That's where we start. 17 degrees is not achievable. Uh, and then it goes down to uh, 10 degrees. And then it starts at 9 degrees here. Goes down to 5 at the break. Um, and down to 0 at note 88. So the entire piano is flared. Um, and that gives me a decision to make in terms of uh, hammer filing, um, but I think I will file all the hammers at my uh, drill press. Uh, so I'm checking my samples, and uh, there's only one that you can see with the camera uh, at all clearly. Um, and that is this first tenor note, um, note 30. So I'm just going to show you as best I can that the, it has a little more drop than I need. But apart from that, the uh, let off is in exactly the right place. In terms of setting up the squaring platform and the action, uh, the keys are off being rebushed and balance holes uh, repaired. Um, so I'm going to hang the hammers just on the bench. These are my shims for the keyframe. I'm leaving them in place. These are the stops for the side of the action. Uh, they're in place, and actually this top stack is pretty flush to the outside of its keyframe, so it uh, makes a side-to-side -side constraint. Uh, I've repurposed what were the stops for uh, the regulating rack at strike. Um, so I've flipped them off, peeled off the tape, put new tape on, and I've fixed the, the uh, backwards direction of uh, the action stack and found some scrap maple that I've placed so that it fixes the uh, forward motion. I have clamped down the squaring platform at a place where uh, the tip of the shank starts at the bottom of the um, shank traveler. Uh, when the action is in place, I generally work from this side, but without the, um, without the uh, keys and keyframe, it uh, works well from that side. What I want is uh, right down the center axis of the hammer. Yep, it'll be right there. And uh, check it on the first 10 hammer, my other sample, and that works out well too. So all the way there works for my squaring, and all the way here works for my travel. The, the other thing about um, the squaring is that for flared hammers, you really want to square them to vertical at strike. The hammers that were on it had this 10 degree in the base, 10 degree starting off in the tenor. And um, I decided to go with that 
Other things about those hammers were wrong, but I assume that the flare hammers, uh, you know, that they took the flare off of uh, the old hammers and they got other things about it wrong, but that was approximately right. My whole set of hammers is flared and normally I would have straight board uh, treble sections, which I would file on my squaring platform, uh, gang file them. But because these are flared, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to file them all at my hammer hanging jig. And please like, subscribe, or follow the link in the notes to my website.